We begin with the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. At least 250 cases have been recorded in Australia. About half of those are in New South Wales, where 112 people have fallen ill. Eight new cases have been identified in Victoria overnight, taking the state's tally to 58. Queensland has also recorded a significant rise in infections, 13 new cases there. A woman in her 60s has become the sixth person to be diagnosed in Tasmania. And Australian cities could be placed into lockdown as authorities continue attempts to stop the spread of the virus. A ban on large public gatherings will kick in tomorrow as schools across the country prepare for the possibility they too could shut down. Chief Anchor Kieran Gilbert has more. As nations around the world put tougher and tougher restrictions in place on their own populations and upon those crossing their borders, some schools in Australia are taking matters into their own hands and planning to teach their students remotely. The Treasurer says more formal restrictions are possible too. We take the advice of the medical experts, but all recent developments both here and overseas, as well as all possible options, no doubt will be assessed. The Health Minister says a directive on closing schools is an option that might be considered down the track. There is the potential. The schools question will be very much guided by the medical advice. Uh, one of the things that they have talked about is uh, not moving too early on something like that. This will cause, if it happens, significant dislocation for families around the country. But I think families with adequate notice will be able to put the steps in place. As Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton continues his recovery from coronavirus in Brisbane, Treasurer Frydenberg, who also travelled recently, has been feeling unwell and has been tested too. As a precautionary measure, I got tested. Uh, fortunately, it was negative. So you got the, te the test Thursday, but you announced the stimulus on, on Thursday, so you're pushing ahead. Did you think about self-isolating, given you were, you were feeling crook? Well, I'd been in Riyadh just over two weeks before, uh, and so it was very much a precautionary measure that I took. The medical advice to me was not to, to go and self-isolate. Bans on mass gatherings of over 500 people come into force tomorrow as the government rolls out its new $30 million national awareness campaign with some tough weeks ahead, including the possibility of entire lockdowns of cities or states. One of the things we know about outbreaks of infections is that they can... They can affect one part of a country, not another. We so you could that. lock down part of Sydney, you can. but not the whole country? You, you, potentially you could. I mean, look, the Koreans did that for two provinces very successfully, locked them down. Uh, so everything is up for consideration. The National Cabinet of Federal and State Leaders will meet today to discuss the health crisis once again as the government's calling for a wartime spirit among Australians.